How embarrassing. Who could have imagined a perfect being fighting with another as a crutch? And here I sit, a lowly spectator in all this. Excuse me if I don't seem to be super thrilled about it. Once I find the person responsible for this mess, I believe a heartfelt thank you is going to be in order. I guarantee no regret ever having made an enemy out of me. Hmm, do you happen to have any knowledge of martial arts? You've come this far, surely you must have some experience fighting. There is no doubt, my body is pure perfection, but wielding it is another matter. I'm curious. I'm not sure if it's because of the link, or perhaps it's your own talent that has piqued my interest. There. I look forward to the opportunity of unraveling the secret of your strength. Whatever you do, human, I will be watching very closely. Though I know not how. I will say, it is an unbelievable joy that I am alive again. Finally, Goku and his vile spawn are here. Now is the perfect time for me to exact my revenge on them both! In our last encounter, I was somewhat careless. From now on, I'm sure, I will not repeat the same folly. But first, I must destroy this fool behind this Link fiasco. Then we can take care of what's next. You, human! You want any chance of success, you're going to have to do better. Double your efforts! And make no mistakes, for your own sake. Though I was never actually assigned a number, I too, technically, am an android. Dr. Jarreau was responsible for creating me, in addition to his other androids, 17 and 18. Although those two appear to despise the Doctor, I, on the other hand, do not share their hatred. But make no mistake, that is not to say I like Jarreau. On the contrary, I don't care at all, gratitude or otherwise. I'm well aware that he made me for his own purposes. However, not, I have my own. I found he was weak anyway, and who could possibly respect that? And I think you'll agree with me, won't you? I would surmise that this Link is most likely also one of the late Doctor's inventions. Who else would think of hijacking the bodies of all the strong fighters? Exactly the kind of thing he could. Although I'm not fully convinced that this is the answer, considering he didn't use this technology while he was alive. It can only be two possibilities. It must have either been horribly flawed or it was simply impractical. Above all, you are still able to overcome and master it. That in itself is a true testament to your talents. Oh, I will be honest with you. Yourselves will make the most valuable addition to my body. Actually, you don't have a stake in this fight. So why would you waste any of your time seeking strength that you don't need? The reason I seek it is to prove all warriors are destined to fall before Cell. Of course, Goku and his wretched offspring will die. However, Frieza and that Majin Buu creature are not exempt either. Should you continue down this path, you will eventually find yourself with the inevitable task of contending with me. Though, fret not, I plan to dismantle you quite swiftly, and fail. It. 
I'd wager, thanks to our battles, you have managed to increase your strength significantly. I would relish a match, and the chance to show you mortals true strength. I will be ready after you return to your own body. There is no denying that I fight for the title of the strongest. This is a fact, but it is the fight itself that enthralls me. I can see in you a warrior much like Goku. There's potential. Perhaps if you continue to train, you might even surpass him. <laughs> the potential is there. I look forward to the day you unlock it.